Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Brian Easy, just coming back to you guys today with episode 6 of Tech Talk. And what a big one we have today. We've got 120 hertz versus 60 hertz, aka 120 frames per second versus 60 frames per second. As an individual, can you tell the difference? And should you buy a 120 hertz monitor? Now, guys, I'm going to address this in an unbiased way. Personally, I do have a 120 hertz monitor. I can notice the difference, but I'm going to let you guys remember this one point about this whole thing is that everybody is different okay so every two set no two sets of eyes are the same unless of course you're an identical twin then that's kind of a different story but the first thing i'm going to address guys let's go to this side okay this is going to be the easiest way to test if you want to get a 120 hertz monitor and you're thinking about it go to this website do this test okay it's called framespersecond.appspot.com and i'll put the link in the description Go here guys, you can test out 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and obviously if you're on a 60 hertz monitor, you're not gonna need 120 frames per second, so we can chop that off, but you can test here, and just look, obviously with the 30 frames per second, you can see the choppiness, and this, since this video is gonna appear on YouTube, which is rendered at 30 frames per second anyway, the bottom one's gonna look choppy as well, but for me, the 60 frames per second looks a lot better than the 30 frames per second, and but I can still notice the choppiness, it's still there. So if I turn this up to 120, so we want to leave off motion blur because no games use motion blur. That's for film. I'll get into that later. But basically, the 120 hertz, hertz frame, the 120 hertz ball, it looks better for me, okay? I look at this and I'm like, yeah, I can notice the difference between the 60 hertz ball and the 120 hertz ball. And if you guys can get on a 120 hertz monitor and try this out, then do it. Otherwise, just look at the 60 hertz ball and if you can notice that it's doing little chops on the screen it's doing little chops it's doing little stro I think they call it strobing and if you notice that the ball is strobing slightly then maybe you are a good candidate to go and buy a 120 Hertz monitor I definitely can see it so for me I bought the hunt this is why I bought the 120 Hertz monitor so anyway guys, let's get, let's move on to the next point and obviously first off I'm gonna say guys it was such a hard decision okay because the 60 Hertz 1440p IPS panel is absolutely gorgeous okay so it was such a tough call for me to make the fluidity of the 1080p 120 Hertz or the 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 beauty of the 1440p IPS panel so for me it was really hard call I went with 120 Hertz because I like gaming competitively that's something I like to do I want to game the best I can so I get the 120 Hertz monitor it was for me so anyway Let's go on to you guys. I'm going to be throwing out recommendations later anyway. This is the next time. Military, Navy pilots. You've probably heard of this. If you've done some research of your own on the matter, you've probably everyone's throwing out military pilots, Navy pilots. And basically what I want to stress here, guys, is as you get older, your acuity declines or the, the quality of your vision declines. Okay, so these guys and your reaction speeds decline as well. So obviously maybe if you're approaching your mid 40s or you're going into your 50s, you may wish to just go with a 60 hertz monitor as you might not notice the difference between 120 hertz and 60 hertz. However, for me, I'm still I'm 27 years old, but I know as I get older, my acuity will decline. It's just natural. That's that's just how humans are. So you want to maybe look at your age. That's an important thing. And realistically, guys, I'm not joking. I'm just realistically looking at the matter. How old you are depends. And these guys, these did they did tests on the Navy pilots and all that, and they found that as the Navy pilots were older in age, their reaction speeds declined, and also their acuity, their their quality of acuity declined as well in this graph. So the majority of people were here, but then obviously had it. And another thing to take out of this, so the average, some some people were getting 0.15 of a second reaction times. So that's really that's huge. Anyway, that's really that's pretty fast. Anyway, so. Uh, if we go down to acuity here, one thing to take out of this graph is basically the more bright or the more brighter your monitor is and the higher contrast your monitor has, the better it's going to look. So keep that in mind as well. So that's something that comes out of this test as well. So that's a good thing. I liked that I looked into this test. And there's so much there's a good there's a lot of good research here. And another point I want to raise up is do you play games when you're tired? If you're a tired person and you're sleep deprived, <laughs> a bit of a joke, but if you and if you're not playing games when you are aware or alert then you're missing out because as you can see here they did tests on more pilots and the simple motor you know simple motor complex motor visual perception it all gets impaired as you get more tired okay so remember that you want to play games you want to play games the best that you can 
play games when you're not tired guys okay so the next point i'm going to move on to guys is this one i really take this with a grain of salt because i couldn't actually find the actual solid research to support it and it was someone like they did experiments one 220th of a second and the pilots were able to consistently see the after image and identify it so that was pretty impressive so basically if you put this into layman terms it's the pilots could basically see 220 frames per second. So, I mean, that's pretty interesting. But remember, the guys, Navy pilots are elite, okay? They are like the elite of the elite, okay? They're healthy individuals. Their eyes are brilliant. So, that's something to take out of that. So, anyway, let's go. This is another really cool thing, guys. I want you to go here and I want you to check it out. Blind spots. Did you actually know that behind our nerves, like behind our eyes, we have the nerve which actually blocks part of our vision? And basically, since we have two eyes, they each help each other out. So this effect doesn't occur if you've got both eyes open. But if you close one eye, for instance, if I close my right eye, and I'm just using my left eye, I want to look at the right. So if I, got my, if I close my right eye, I'm going to look at the right dot. And as I go in, so I'm going to move in with you guys live, the actual plus symbol, uh, it actually blanks out. It's really crazy. And the funny thing is, my mouse cursor actually disappears as well. It's really crazy. And I just, when I looked at this, I was like, what the hell? So basically, the blind spot on our eyes, our brain actually makes up that information and puts in just, okay, this is just going to be green here. We're just going to pop some green in there. No worries. Uh, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. So I was like, oh, okay, my brain's playing tricks on me, stupid brain. So that's something to remember. That's something just that's a really cool thing that I found while researching this whole topic. Anyway, let's go on to it, guys. Linus Tech Tips. Actually, this is one of the funniest things was when I was researching this. I was looking for, have people tested this effect? And now Linus went on and he got his friend to do blind tests on this 120 hertz monitor. And his friend, who's a pretty young guy, could not tell the difference. So I'll put the link in the description below. You can watch the video. And now he couldn't tell the difference. However, Linus, he tested it and he could tell the difference. Five out of five times he told which one was 60 hertz, which one was 120, which was impressive. And for me, I could tell the difference. I know I could tell the difference as well. And it's because of this, guys. I want to point you to this brain plasticity, okay? So I'll put the links to the Linus videos in the description below. Great research. I love how he did an actual test to do that. It's really cool. And it just shows to show that some people can notice the difference, some people can't. But I think another thing to remember is, is what your brain gets trained to do. So if you're always seeing in the nighttime, your brain is naturally going to get better at seeing in the nighttime. Your vision's not going to improve, but you're just going to get used to seeing at nighttime. Now, the same with 120 frames per second. This is what I believe, okay? Since I've been using 120 frames per second every time I game, I'm used to it, okay? I'm trained uh, to now be used to 120 frames per second. So maybe even if you can't notice a difference and you try out 120 frames, say you try it for a week and then you go back to 60 hertz, I'm pretty positive you will notice a difference. So if I drop my monitor, if I change my settings back to 60 hertz, uh, I've done it once and I just changed it straight away because what I noticed was my mouse cursor actually got really slow. Like it got choppy. I was like, oh God, 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 I can't do this. I can't do this. I got to change it back. And so I did it straight away. I changed it back to 120 hertz and I never looked back at that. But I want to share this with you guys. So brain plasticity, your brain is getting trained at like my brain's already been trained at 120 hertz. And that's what I think exactly uh, what's happened in Linus's video. He's used to playing at 120 hertz therefore he can tell the difference and so i think it's it's not about can linus count 120 frames or can i count 120 frames in one second hell no i couldn't do that what it's about is noticing the difference as a gamer can you notice the difference and now i'm gonna so that about wraps it up in terms of solid research that i can find i'm gonna go a little bit off topic and talk about persistence of vision which is in is in favor of the 60 hertz it basically says that we Basically, we get an image and that image is imprinted in our brain for a short amount of time, roughly uh, 0.04 of a second. So what that means is, is that, yeah, we see an image, it gets imprinted in our brain and we kind of remember it for a little bit. We get the next image and it helps uh, smooth things out. So honestly, they, they've debunked this and they've called it a myth. I, I honestly don't know, as I believe, guys, 
We are a biological species and so we can't test a biological species with mechanical means and we have no means of testing biological species yet as there's no biomech sort of test bed that we can apply to a human's vision, if that makes any sense. But yeah, if anything to get out of this whole argument, guys, is that no one exactly knows how many frames per second an individual can see because we are a biological species and we see in a completely different way as to a mechanical way. So anyway, let's have a look at the wagon wheel. This is pretty cool. Like it, movies are shot at 24, 24 frames per second, right? And so when we turn 120, my monitor is 120 frames. And when I have this thing going at 120 RPM, even on a 60 hertz monitor would be the same, but it shows the, the floor in 24 frames. And the, it just look, the wheel just looks like it's still. So it's just stupid. Like, and that's the, well, that's the thing with 24 frames per second. It's a weakness, basically. And here it is. You guys can see it for yourself. Go here if you want. I'll put the description in. I'll put the link in the description below. Basically, it shows the 24 frames per second just staying completely still. I was just like, okay, hmm. But what I want to point out is, had this wheel been going at 120 frames per second, it would look completely different. And so would a normal wheel on a car in daylight. So if you guys go outside and you look at a car wheel, you'll see that it's moving. You'll never see this effect unless it's low light or it's poor light. I don't think so. Anyway, but you see it in movies frequently because of this effect. So if we move it up a bit, it'll be going backwards. So that's what you see in the movies. The 24 frames is causing this. So anyway, guys, that's a cool thing to check out if you want to. Now, lastly, people will ask me for some 120 hertz monitor recommendations. Now, guys, honestly, make your own mind up about 120 hertz versus 60 hertz. You have to be the judge, okay? I can't do this for you, okay? Because that is just wrong. And I think it is wrong when people say, oh, I, can only, I can't notice the difference. Therefore, you can't notice the difference. And I and it's vice versa as well. I can notice the difference, so you should notice the difference. Now, I'm going to come back to everyone liked my analogy last time, so I'm going to come back with a different analogy this time. Everyone knows the jealous friend, okay? So be mindful of the jealous friend. They lurk. They're there, guys. Trust me. So when you want to buy that 120 hertz monitor, and you can notice, if you go to that website and you can see that, 60 frames per second is a little bit choppy and you can notice that and you're like yep i'm gonna get that 120 hertz monitor don't listen to that jealous friend you know what he's like he's like he bought his 60 hertz monitor and he's like secretly he noticed the difference he's like yeah i tried the 120 hertz monitor i could see the difference but god damn it i made the wrong purchase decision i can't take my monitor back now and he's like doing that and he's like darn man don't get the 120 hertz monitor you can't notice the difference you can't notice it man you can't do it you can't i, I didn't notice it it's just stupid humans can't see behind beyond 60 frames per second and you're at that time you're like geez man why is this guy getting overreactive about this whole situation it's just 120 hertz monitor man it's just 250 dollars. it's not like the end of the world so you're probably thinking that to yourself and this guy's like and you're like uh just you know okay i'll try them out i'll test them out see which one i like and then you change the topic and then you come back and he's like he's just like oh man the 120 hertz monitor don't buy he's like still going on at that point in time you know that guy is just super jealous he's just like He's just like wheeling. So at that point in time, guys, if you know if that jealous friend is out there and he's trying to influence you to go with the with the poor choice, you say to him, ah, oh man, you know what? I'm just going to try the 120 hertz monitor. And that time he is going to be just like, oh, he's going to be more jealous than a fat kid watching Spider-Man. He's going to be more jealous than Keanu Reeves watching himself on The Matrix, guys. He is going to be so jealous and you have to rub it in. You have to be like 120 hertz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. But guys, anyway, that's the jealous friend. Okay, so don't listen to the jealous friend. When you were to buy your monitor, buy your monitor. So with that being said, I'm going to pop out some recommendations, guys, for 120 hertz monitors or 144 hertz monitor. This is the latest one coming out from Asus. It's actually a 27-inch monitor, which is probably a little bit too big, but it's 144 hertz, so it's just huge. It's uh, I think this is designed for pro gamers, okay? So pro gamers definitely need this you know it's that little competitive you might be thinking no, it's just a couple of milliseconds but it can matter okay in a competitive tournament that two milliseconds can make a difference guys so that's a one you might want to think of this is the monitor i personally have it's the samsung s23 uh 700d which is a gloss panel so even though it looks matte here it's actually a gloss coating and it looks beautiful guys so uh it's your choice. You can get the matte or you can get the gloss. I love gloss personally. That's just me as a person. I made that decision myself. 
and you guys can be the judge of that okay so go try these things this is a great monitor i got this at 120 hertz it's a true 120 hertz it's awesome monitor cost me about 300 dollars, and it's worth every penny it is just a beautiful even though it's a tn panel trust me it looks phenomenal for a tn panel now the next recommendation i'll throw out there is the bang xl 2420t this is quite expensive as you guys can see but it's 120 hertz as well it's a i think it's a matte coating on it and it's yeah it's got some good specs on it it's pretty much the same specs as the samsung as well so there's some there's three good monitors i can think of there's a lot more out there and obviously guys the most important thing is is that yeah way up do that test okay find that do that test see if you can notice the difference and obviously for me it was a hard choice between because the 1440p ips panel is beautiful go check it out go down the stores try them both out see which one you like for me the 1080p 120 hertz was better so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode of tech talk episode 6 if it's one thing to get out of this is that no one knows how many frames we can actually see at in a mechanical basis because we're biological beings anyway guys i'm gonna have my euro i got requests to do a euro build that is going to be coming soon i'm going to give a 500 and a thousand euro build so stay tuned for those also a 500 pound budget build will be coming out soon and also a 500 dollar aussie build is going to be coming out soon hey i'm going to give you guys that much love so can i get a thumbs up and if you haven't already can i get a sub because it's hard to get a sub nowadays it takes a lot to get a sub nowadays i think i'm doing the research i think i'm trying to explain it as best as i can i kind of deserve it a sub don't you think yeah okay anyway guys uh, my wife says i should cut my hair soon what do you guys think do i need a haircut is this kind of getting crazy i don't know let me know guys anyway guys for now peace out for now and 